The Trim Total War here, and today we've got a saving and disaster battle playing as the Northern Provinces going up against the Kurgan Warband. Most of you guys who play the Northern Provinces will have to deal with something similar to this in your campaign at some point, unless you take precautions to make sure it doesn't happen at all, which I'll talk about in, in the, later on in the video. So, the major Kurgan invasion is coming, and they're basically pushing all of their force into this particular gate, with the total gate here. So they've got four armies, but this one here is really small. It's on large unit scale, which I don't think... I think the uh, the uh, scales, uh, the unit scales are balanced in Warhammer 3, at least compared to Warhammer 2. Uh, but we've got at least two minutes until the majority of them show up, so we'll see what we can do here. So it says Valiant Defeat, but you can very easily just get overwhelmed by sheer numbers in this situation here. This is why I'd also recommend if... You've got the gates putting in just a small amount of extra force in there since you can reduce the upkeep cost of the army can actually really help because what you can do is deny enemy reinforcements so that only a full stack can show up. Um, oh, the dreaded woe is there. Right. I see. I thought that was all Kurgans. And that can just help slow down the reinforcements because the thing is with the... Uh, the uh, the bastion settlement battles the walls are kind of worth holding because for one thing Cathay's um, melee infantry is actually very good but also the towers are extremely powerful all right so the bounce power is even at the begin with we've got a lot of supplies that's good another problem as well with um, abandoning the walls because they walled settlement um, you've got to hold on to two defensive positions, and those positions aren't great to hold. But we'll see what we can do here. Oops, what's going on there? Alright, so I just put that back there so I can just start from scratch with this. We definitely want to put units up on the, the walls to begin with. But what are we going to be dealing with for the most part? We're going to be dealing with Marauder Champions. So, I think Marauder Champions will beat Jade Warriors, but if they're thinned out, maybe the Jade Warriors can win. Same number of entities. If you ever look at stat differences, okay, so 7,200 health compared to 6,200. 80 armor, 80 armor. Um, they have more leadership. Yeah, we've got more leadership. They've got more speed, more melee attack, melee defense, weapon strength. Um, but we could potentially use the yin-yang system to get up to um, 8 extra melee defense which will still not be as high as their melee defense. And then, of course, they've got the Rage on top of that, which can give them physical resistance. This is this is why usually fighting up on the walls is not ideal. Um, Norskan Warhounds. Okay. Because there's so many reinforcements coming, we really do want to make sure we, we hold on to the towers. At, at, at least as long as possible. It's okay to fall back at some point. Uh, let's see, let's see. Where's the closest tower we can build up here? See, if I build a tower here, which seems pretty close, and let's just say we build the the explosive towers. It shoots up Hellstorm rocket batteries. It's kind of blocked by the walls. So it's not particularly good in that case. I do kind of prefer to use the, uh, the cannon towers, just because it's cheaper, so you can build more of them. And it does do a hell of a lot of damage, and especially good against single entities, where this one here is really inaccurate, but it's really good against infantry. Infantry should be the least of our concerns. So I'm going to put down some cannon towers, because we've got heaps of supplies, which is great. But we're not really going to be utilizing this straight away. Luckily, they don't do any friendly fire. Okay, don't worry about barricades too much. Okay, we can... You can do the gate bug. Um... It's not great, but I'll showcase it just a little bit. Uh, it, yeah, it's, it's definitely not something you should prioritize doing. Uh, the cavalry, I really can't make use of that at all. Just skip that at the back here for now. Just can't do anything with that. Uh, alright, alright. Let's try using some of the archers here to begin with. They're not going to fire amazingly well, but they'll thin them out a little bit, and then I'll cycle. I'll pull them out and bring the, uh, the jade warriors out up here. So let's see... See, these are anti large. So considering we've got to deal with a feral mammoth there. 
If it was just this one army here, it really wouldn't be a problem. But because there's so much reinforcements, that's that's a big problem. There's going to be so many layers to this fight. Because the, part of the problem is, once they get up on the wall and cap the towers, the walls are of no further use to us. So we either need to hold the towers for dear life, which is alien to me, because I'm not used to doing that now. Um, or fall back, which it's not the greatest defenses at falling back. And also they're faster than us, so falling back can be... A bit tricky. Okay, I'm gonna put put them here. To try to shoot the mammoth a little bit, although I think it's just gonna come straight through. If we use the celestial dragon guard here, that might do okay. I take the Jade Warrior crossbowman and bring him over here. But we really want to make, try to make sure we use the, uh, the Yin Yang system as much as possible. It really does give us a nice big boost. Okay, there's going to be fighting up on the walls here. And we're definitely, we need to try to hold on to these flanking positions here the most because that's where their reinforcements are coming from. The Celestial Faithful! So we've got to make sure these towers are occupied. Alright, which units haven't I used yet? Alright, just these two. So we need somebody here to prevent the monsters from coming inside. Actually, is it really that big of a deal if the monsters do come inside and the towers just obliterate them as they're coming in? If we put all of our infantry up on the walls, and they get past us here. All we really need to do is make sure that the cavalry keep recapping points. Why don't we try that? It's going to be a little bit weird doing it that way. But that way the monsters can't get us. Well, why don't we put um, some Jade Warriors with Halberds at the most important spot. There. Because it'll take them a little bit to get in here. and We'll gain supplies really quickly. But yeah, actually just give them... How about these ones here? Stay at this position. And I'll build... Yeah, I'll build more towers. We'll see how we go. But we'll leave those ones there because they're going to be the ones shooting first. Stone and steel. Okay, I'm going to put you over here because I don't think you're going to get shot too much from that position. Or, or fought, fight too much, I mean. Um... Peasants aren't exactly reliable. Oh, okay. Another thing is, um, if we do this, right, our guy isn't going to be able to shoot right away, but he's going to yin yang for our guys here out here as much as possible. I think if you spread them out, it doesn't uh, doesn't spread out the uh, proximity because it's to the center of the unit. Because yeah, if we spread this out now, let me just see. Come on, spread out. There we go. It's annoying to spread out, just won't. There we go. So yeah, even though these units here are fairly close there, they're, they're not in proximity. So what we need to do is have more archers just to give them extra stat boosts. But yeah, it's going to be a lot of cycling these guys around. It really sucks to leave the archers up on the walls. But I'll see what I can do. I may actually need some Celestial Dragon Guard up here. to Because we've got to hold back the... Uh, the worries. What if we got the Jade... Oh, they're not very fast. That's the problem. So I was thinking I could run around here and try to keep them busy. But it's just not going to work while they're slow. And this guy here is... Not on foot, so I can't put him up on the wall. But like I said, I'll try to use the gate up j just a little bit. Alright, let's just see how this goes. It's, uh, we'll, we'll see. So yeah, if you say, halt. Oh. Yeah, see, it closes. And if you halt in there, he moves out. So what you, oh, hang on, hang on. Yeah, yeah, they move him out of the way. So what you have to do is constantly do this. <laughs> in order to keep the gate bug open. It's not worth doing it because you're much better off concentrating on what's going on. 
I know it's weird these guys here facing the wrong way. Maybe, maybe should switch them just to begin with. But yeah, these Hellstorm rocket battery towers are really powerful. Oh, hang on, it's staying open. Oh, I think we got a gate bugged. And we've also got this as well, but... Oh, the town's actually shooting, how about that? Um... Okay, this area here is... Okay, they're not going to break through that way, at least for now. They will break through here. If you could shoot the Feral Mammoth, that'd be good, because we're going to struggle with that otherwise. Ah, uh, the gate closed. Okay, alright. Well, fair enough. Yeah, gate bug's kind of been fixed. It's like 95% fixed. Alright, you come back over here. Right, we'll get some more cannon towers built soon. Okay, move that one out of the way. You come over here. Yeah, we're just going to have to keep our guys up the wall. Because if we put them off the wall, the bloody monsters are going to get them. At least they're tired coming up, and they're really badly damaged, so... It's just weird. It feels really alien holding the walls. Okay, yeah, shoot into this huge group of reinforcements here. And over there. Um, if I pop this down, the problem is, is that they, the AI is really good at dodging it, because it takes ages for that spell to go off. So just hold off for the time being. Because what you want to do with that is wait until they're actually pinned down, which they're not at the moment. We're not really taking too much damage. Try to bring that one over there. But yeah, try to make sure that none of the towers are being capped. It's okay if they're coming in. Okay, we've got some of this we can use. They'll probably go for these side areas first. Yeah, the cannon tower over here is actually helping quite a bit. No, no, look, if they want to get off the wall, just let them, let them, just let them. Oh, there's some serious audio problems with this game sometimes. Alright, that bounce of power is disgustingly bad. I'm just worried that there's just too much coming in this way. He really should have put, like, even just one Lord in here just to deny a lot of these reinforcements. Because we could have easily repelled the first wave. Just didn't prepare. At all, which definitely isn't good. Can't do that much with the magic right now. But yeah, we've already killed 800 of them. We've barely taken any damage, but the problem is they've just run in through the city. And now it's a concern whether or not we're actually going to be able to hold them back. Because the, this is the biggest weakness of uh, walled cities, is the fact that we have to hold on to two positions. Alright, so let's give them one of this. Because this tower here... Should be able to assist in killing this a fair bit. We've almost got enough for another one. This feels so weird holding the walls, but we just got to do it. Okay, they're trying to shoot us. Stay close to the crenellations there. Okay, we've lost this area here. How about you come over here and try to recap it? Come over here and help us recap it. Because there's a lot there that we can shoot. How are we going over here? Oh, the mammoth's gone. Good, good. Stay there, stay there. You need to hold on to that cap point. How are we going up this way? Alright, we've got trolls coming in. I've only got one unit of infantry here. And we're going to need a tower. Let's get that going. But one unit of Norse controls are not... Mm, mm, two units of Norse controls. I'll have to use the Jade Lancers. 
They're not exactly the best against cavalry. Uh, against monsters, I mean, sorry. The thing is with the cavalry is i got to actually micro them, which means I'm not paying attention to other areas. But this certainly here is very important. We have to hold this. I can't exactly justify sending reinforcements up here, because otherwise we're going to lose that spot. Luckily, these guys here... Yeah, trolls are shit. Took that out easily enough. Still haven't recaptured that point there yet. Feels so weird leaving these archers up on the walls. Okay, we're too heavy up here. Why don't we send this unit over this way to come... There's, they're just trying to get off the wall. They just want to get past it. That's fine. That's fine for now. How are we going over here? i got to concentrate on this here at the moment. And how are we going here? They're not really sending much up this way. They're not even trying to cap the other points. Still can't... Oh, hang on, hang on. Now might actually be a good time to use this. Right there. Because they're kind of pinned down. I don't even have any units there. I don't, know, I don't even know what they're doing. But sometimes you just got to wait for the right moment. And I don't think that was going to be any better than that. Just let you guys keep running down those Norse controls. Because otherwise they're just going to come back. Try to get the guys to shoot backwards now that they're running into the city. And we're starting to reclaim the towers. That's good. But now the towers aren't that valuable. So what we need to do is once they've they're finished assaulting the walls, we actually need to come down off the walls and actually re-assault our own city, sort of, and try to recap any points that they've, they've captured. And make sure these two positions here. The bounce power is not too bad. Where are you? Get back over here. I may want to use this here. It's not close enough. How are we going here? Yeah, we're, we're holding out here, all right. Yep, guys shooting backwards there. That's what we want to see. Into the city. Okay, we've got access to another tower. This position here is the most important, so we're going to need more of those cannon towers here. You stay there. How are we going here? Yep, these guys here can't shoot us properly, so that's fine. And yeah, our towers are just about used up in terms of their effectiveness. Jade Warrior Crossman. That's okay, that's okay. Bounce of Power is approaching even. They've kept one of our points. Which one? Okay. I'm not in a position to go recap it just yet. I need to send reinforcements up here. Uh, what, 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 no, no, no. Get back over here. Maybe I need you on guard mode. Because if I leave this area and they attack it, this position here is worth way more than that one. I'm sure these towers here did a ton of damage. But yeah, now, now I really just got to keep an eye on everything because there's just so many elements going on. Hold on to these two positions here at all costs. Alright. We're almost done with this area here. Yeah, you come down there, try to shoot that mammoth. That, I don't know what it's doing. Try to get the archers to fire backwards now. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, that's not good. Get him out of there. Come on, he's not a good fighter. Okay, get back over here. And give, give that a boost. Okay, Jade Lancers are just fine against... Uh, they're actually doing a pretty good job here. Keep our eye on all the little things that are going on. What's this position? Yeah, I built a tower here. I could cancel it, but it won't get done in time. Just let it keep showing right up until the last minute. I can build another tower real soon anyway. This guy here is out of ammo. Well, if it's out of ammo, that just means it did a lot of damage, right? Yep, it did. Bounce of power is approaching even. Approaching. We're getting there. Okay, I need you back over here, because this is uh, getting overrun. We can't lose that. I need the cavalry back down there. Go, 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 go. Okay, these guys here aren't really doing anything. Let's get them. You know, just pull them down there to keep fighting. 
That sucked. We just need the battle to go on as long as possible. The towers will... Yeah, this here is a bit of a problem. The Celestial Dragon Guard are doing just fine here. Luckily they're not trying to cap it because we're not in the position there. Okay. Oh, those trolls shouldn't be too bad for them to take out. Go sort that out. Alright, I think I'm going to hold on to this position. Let's build that tower. What's going on here? See, I'd come off the walls, but we got to be careful about doing that right now. Okay, you come down here, help fight. Try to keep as many of them distracted down here as possible. We're winning the fight. Well, almost. We're almost winning. Windblast isn't going to be useful here, because a lot of the units have armor or are monsters. So best to just use harmonic convergence. But yeah, as long as they're not capping this point here, it's all good for now. Bouncer power's climbing back up. Yeah, come get over there. That's where the main fight's happening at the moment. Uh, you come over here, so you can... Actually, why don't you come down this way and shoot from that angle. That's preserving a lot of our bouncer power by the fact that we've got so much ammo there. How are we going up here? Damaged units coming up here. Okay, we're fine. The bunch of trolls aren't going to deal with them. They're really strong. Okay, pull them back. Lord of Champions. I think we're going to get over... Yeah, it looks like we're going to get overrun here. That is going to give us a timer to defeat. If I... Plus, we got towers here. Oh, they're not trying to cap it, though. I just can't get anyone over here fast enough. They're ages away. They're just standing there. See if you can take that out. Oh, fucking mammoth. Not much I could do about that apart from just shoot it with the towers. Yeah, they're trying to cap that. I gotta get there and just slow them down. Every second counts with the uh, with the towers. Just try to hold it for as long as possible there. Every second, this is active. The more damage we can do to them with the towers. Come on, I gotta keep this damn position. But I'm, my units are screwed, and then we're getting attacked over here. It's almost even, but we're gonna lose. If if we lose this position here, it's really bad for us. This battle's still got a little bit to go. Unfortunately, cavalry are not great at defending positions. This position here is lost. Give them one of this to just hold on as long as possible, to keep them alive as much as I can, but this position's lost. It'll take them a little while to win the battle off that. We'll see if we can try to recap the point, but yeah, it's been lost. This is why uh, walled city sieges is a complete failure, because of this two points he freaking hard to defend. Okay, but well we got a bit of time. Alright, we've got to start pushing our way back up there and recapping it. But there's going to be a lot of shit in our way. But yeah, we've got a few minutes to get there. Okay, let's go. Okay, cool. We're back. Let's see if we can recap the point. Heroes are pretty good at capping points. Just see if I can. And then there's this position here, which... We've got two towers, but they're kind of obstructed. Fucking mammoth. I don't think I've got enough here to recap it. But while we're in here, they don't get any victory points. So if we could just stay in here as long as possible, it could make all the difference. I'll just hold on as long as I can. I think there's Marauder unit, so they're not too bad. He, just try and stay in here. Because we've got guys coming back up. Just push on through. 
We've got to get back over here. Bouncer power's in our favor. All we have to do is just hold on to these points now. Come on. Yeah, this goddamn tower. Come on, shoot the goddamn mammoth. Ah, damn it. Well, at least we delayed them there a little bit. Okay, come on, let's move. we got to get to this position. Alright, i got another tower I can build. i just got to find a good spot to put it. They didn't go after this position here. Bouncer power is looking good now. We didn't just inflict the army losses, did we? Maybe it's because that mammoth died. Over here. So yeah, all I gotta do now is try to get that position back fast enough. And it looks like we're in the clear. There we go, there's the army losses. But yeah, that position there, bloody nearly lost us the battle. Fighting for it for dear life. And there we go. So, uh, let the towers try to do as much damage to them once they're making their way out. But that looked like the entire massive Kurgan invasion coming in there. Alright. So yeah, it's not a legendary difficulty. So holding the walls was, was really valuable. Um, we were just overwhelmed by so many troops. Oh yeah, it was... The, there was um, two armies from the Dreaded War. So if I didn't control large armies, I still would have had to deal with two full stacks, I suppose. Because these guys could have brought their full armies. But this one here wouldn't have come in. But yeah, I'll show you some ways how to prevent this crap from happening in the first place. Probably going to want replenishment because they might decide to attack again. They have a use of salt. Ooh. I always get these dilemmas after a disaster battle where I've got to make a decision for someone. It's obvious that the uh, Jade Warrior Crossbowmen would be better. You've already got quite a few missile units in there, and you've only got a handful of melee units. I mean, two Jade Warrior Crossbows is definitely worth more than Peasant Long Spears, but if there were Jade um, Halberds, I probably would choose that for you. So I think we should go with that for now. So that should just give you an instant recruit rank for all units. I'm not entirely sure. What, what the hell's... Right, that's permanent. And that's only for three... T oh, yeah, you should do that. That's permanent. You'll keep that forever now. Yeah, so this is the main problem here. How to prevent it. Yeah, so... The problem here is that when you let this get out of control, there's a big Kurgan invasion that, that shows up. Big armies like that. But if you don't let this get out of control, the Kurgan armies will keep respawning, but they're not that big of a deal. So what you want to do is just leave small forces in here. And every time you go out and beat them, they'll drop down by 20%. So you only need to beat them like once every few turns. So you've, you've got Miao Ying out here doing stuff. I'm not sure what. Got control of... The bastions. You probably don't need the barracks here. Um, what you want to be doing, in my opinion. Uh, you've done the right thing with this building here. That one there is not really necessary. I would go for the reduced upkeep cost so you can leave a small force here. And also, allow yourself more supplies. Imagine if we had 1,500 extra supplies at the beginning of that battle. And extra ammunition, because a lot of our archers actually ran out of ammo. So that would have made a big difference. Hang on, they attacked the turtle gate. Yeah, you don't need these two things here. Because you're not even you don't even have an army here. What do you what did you build up there for? But yeah, you should be able to handle what's left of them. The dragon gate here should be able to handle this, no problem. Yeah, that this wave of Kurgan invasions is is more or less sorted. Um, but you need to keep a small force in the area. Don't forget to maintain some balance, but it may have changed due to um, what you've been recruiting. The campaign itself doesn't seem like it's going too bad. You've gone around a lot of areas. You've been teleporting around or something. Like, look at all the areas you've been teleporting. And you've already done the Realm of Slanesh. Fair enough. Alright, the 
campaign seems like it's going just fine. Anyway, that's the end of this one here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you learned something. Uh, the uh, gate bastion battles can be a little bit of a challenge if they penetrate the walls, but it is definitely worth holding onto those walls as long as possible. And then you just got to hold onto those two positions as much as possible. If they do cap a position, um, all you need to do is put one unit in there and it prevents them from getting victory tickets. And just hold that as long as possible. Let the towers do as much damage as possible. Anyways, into this one. Appreciate you guys. And I'll see you next time, fuckers. Bye.